Hi everyone, I'm Essex Dave and I'm in Chung Chung. Today I'm going to show you the cheapest and most interesting way to go to Polin Monastery and the Big Buddha. If this is your first time to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. You need to find the new Lantau bus station and discover bus 34 to Shek Mong Kap. Buses are fairly infrequent but it's worth the wait. And you can find bus number 34 right behind City Gate Outlets Shopping Centre. This is Shek Mong Kap and the start of the Buddha Trail. It's known as the Buddhist Trail because along the way we will pass some Buddhist monasteries, some Buddhist temples and some other kind of retreats or Buddhist schools. And very soon after Leaving Shet Mon Cap, you come to this one, a quite impressive monastery. This one is Lo Hon Monastery. All very colourful, all very nice. And you can visit when it's open. Also along the way there are some fine mountain views, untouched greenery, unconquered peaks. It comes as a surprise to some people that Hong Kong is not all skyscrapers and urban sprawl. A lot of it is still country parks, unexplored, and lots of great walking trails for you to explore. About one third of the way up, you're going to come to a bit of a concentration of Buddhist buildings, retreats, living quarters, etc. Like this one. It has <coughs> a nice niche outside. A bit dark to see. And a bit further up, a couple more buildings. One on the right hand side here. Has a slightly colonial feel to it. Would be quite nice to stay there. Up and around the corner. This one seems a bit more modern, a bit more active and in use. When you reach this point, you're over halfway there. This is Polam Zen Buddhist Monastery. It's got a really fantastic setting, that mountain behind. All the bonsai trees in front. Very nice pavilion.
and looking out over a nice view down to the sea and you can just see Chetlakop Airport down below. After one hour, 15 minutes climbing up past the monasteries, you eventually come to the entrance gate to the Nong Ping complex. And this is a kind of plateau, so no more uphill walking. So here we are, the wonderfully deserted Nong Ping at the entrance gate. Very impressive. So we're going to walk up to Polin now. really is fantastic up here at this time of day, especially with no tourists around. You've got the whole place to yourself. We'll go through the incense. Get bathed in all that lucky smoke. And finally, the impressive temple. There are lots of Buddha statues inside, but it does say no photographs and no filming, so I'm going to respect that. But of course, you can go up there yourself and have a look. While you're up at Polin, one thing that you can do to support the monastery is to try some of their delicious snacks, Buddhist snacks. So, for example, like this spring roll. Very crispy, inside some mushroom, carrot, with Worcester sauce, very delicious. Or, this kind of sesame seed ball, which is a Hakka, a, a, a place in China of Hakka people their speciality. Mm. A bit doughy, but inside lovely black sesame. Mm. And finally, a vegetarian, looks like char siu bao, but obviously no meat. All very good, all very filling. Give it a go. The highlight of the trip, of course, is to see the magnificent Golden Buddha. 
and here it is because it's actually covered in scaffolding at the moment don't know how long it will be under repair so bear that in mind if you're thinking about coming up sorry for the disappointing ending but if you have enjoyed this video please like it share it comment below thank you so much for watching and as always i will see you all in the next one